Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Guide. I would be zooming in right now, but I really can't because, well, we are in 1.16 and I don't have capabilities of zoom as of right now. And speaking of 1.16, we have a little bit of an infestation problem of iron golems all around here. Um, this is just caused by the tiny little villager trading hall that I actually have underground. And they changed a little bit of the iron golem spawning mechanics in 1.16. And it's caused all of this. All of this, guys. This is like maybe an hour of just kind of chilling out. Kind of prepping for the video and figuring out where I was going to be building my project for today and things like that. This is this is what happened. What? Like seriously, this is crazy. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to go and kill some of these, but at least I'm protected from most mobs right now, except for creepers. Creepers can still get through these guys like crazy, but I do have a lot of cats around here too, and that's always a good thing. Um, I did a little bit of trading off camera with my villagers so I could get some more emeralds, which is fantastic. I do want to make some potions and whatnot, but my plans for today's episode, as you guys can see that since we are in 1.16, um, that, uh, well, you guys can't see that, but we are in the nether update and I do plan on going to the nether, but I'm just not ready to really do that as of right now. There's a couple things that I need. Number one, I need gunpowder. Lots and lots and lots of gunpowder. Now, Tristan, which is somebody else that plays on the server here with me, this is a member-only server, so if you guys want to participate and play Minecraft with me on a 1.16.1 uh, Minecraft world, then become a member, and you guys are going to be able to play Minecraft with me and join in, in all of the activities and see all the different builds that we actually create here on the server. So there is always that. But today's episode, I need lots of gunpowder, so I'm going to be making a generic mob farm because I'm going to need bones and eventually I'm probably going to need some string and things like that um, to do a lot of the projects that I that I do want to do. There's so many different farms and so many different things. This is an overall guide on everything Minecraft related. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, by all means, leave a comment down below because I really want to build what you guys would like to see being built here on the channel and in the world, to be completely honest. I have an idea of what my theme is going to be. Um, I'm not really ready to release what it is going to be yet. Now, before I actually go and do anything else, I just wanted to show you guys, look at this. Tristan actually created a mob farm already, and he just donated a ton of rockets to me, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm definitely going to grab a stack of those. I've already picked up a place where I want to build this, which is actually up there. And I'm going to show you guys kind of the reason why I picked that up, uh, picked that out a little bit earlier. And I did a little bit of cleaning up around here as well. But anyway, I'm going to get some of the blocks that I need and uh, do a little bit of touch up and then we'll be back. I guess I have never actually showed you guys kind of where or what my thoughts are about this area. But uh, my main build is actually going to be behind me on these. Um, and I'm trying to think of what the actual biome is called. Um, Chattered Savannah, that's it. So that's basically what I'm going to be building on. And then we got the little tiny village behind me. And I know that we're building it up a little bit higher in the world. And that's perfectly fine. Look, we got a jungle over there. We got another jungle over behind me there. A desert. We got a desert behind this way as well. It's a huge desert. And then a savanna that way, which is pretty cool. But this area is kind of what I wanted to, to, to build at specifically for the, the farm or the mob farm. And the reason is, is a lot of it's actually already dug out. So I can actually use all of this right down here for part of the mob farm. Now I'm going to have to widen this out a little bit and I'll have to do a little bit of digging. Typically on all of my other worlds, I have always just um, basically built it on top of an ocean so that nothing is below it. Um, I did take a look at my spectator account and there's really nothing around here. There's a, there's a little cave like that way, but at least I can use a majority of this for a lot of the collection of of the uh the mob farm so that way it's not like hugely into the air and then i do want to make some kind of watchtower from all of this and that's kind of why i chose this specific area because it's like on the outskirts it's like right on the edge of the entire cliff this is where i'm going to build it we had a little bit of clearing out that we need to do actually a lot of bit of cleaning out so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and get into uh spectator mode and we're going to dig this out a little bit and have a little bit of fun so let's get to it
guys did enjoy that time lapse that uh, we created. And if we actually look straight up this thing, you can kind of see the uh, kind of the uh, shape of that. And I'm not actually going to train this out a little bit more. So it's actually a lot more diamond shaped. So uh, you can see that if we look at like this corner, this is like one corner here. Then this is the other corner. This is where the mobs will fall down to and they'll actually get pushed to the middle, which will be right here. So the killing chamber will actually be right here in the middle. So if you guys are wondering how big this is, you have the center block here, and then you go out 10 from there. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. Um, so what happens is if we actually place this with a, um, like change this with a water block right here, what should happen or water source, this should actually flow all the way down and it should hit to here. So it should go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Um, and then what's going to happen is we're actually going to raise this up one and it's actually going to be put there. And so I'll have to make a little bit of modifications to it. And I might have to make this a little bit wider, but you can kind of see kind of what we're looking for. And the reason that I wanted to build this into the ground is quite honestly, I want to build a lookout tower pretty much right above it. And that will give us plenty of levels and layers that we can actually add to this. And then hopefully the building will just kind of like grow right out of this area which is fantastic so i was kind of lucky to actually find a majority of this already dug out um and that actually helped me out quite a bit now we got a ton of resources from digging this out we're going to get tons of like stone slabs and that's actually what i'm going to be using to actually create this so typically when i build a bob farm i actually put like the um the actual mechanism at the bottom but what i'm actually going to do is i'm actually going to put the mechanism at the top this time because i'm not really going to have easy access to this down here so if anything really ever goes wrong down here uh we're going to be in a little bit of trouble and we don't necessarily want that to happen um so i'm going to put my hopper clock at the very top there and something that i can obviously turn on and off whenever i really want to so that way if more and more people actually join in the server we won't really have to worry about any type of lag or anything like that so that is kind of always important when you guys are playing on a server so what we're going to do here is i'm going to build the first level up and it's actually going to be about three um blocks tall so if this is the very center we would have you know that's three blocks, so because that's one, two, and then three. And then we're going to basically put in our first layer. Um, and what I'm going to do is we're going to be putting it like right about there. So you can kind of see where this the killing chamber is at. And that's going to allow everything that's tall enough to actually come under here. And then this is going to be magma blocks. So the only thing that this actually won't be able to kill would be witches. So And that's perfectly fine. I'm not really worried about that. And then, of course, the AFK platform will eventually be in the the out uh, like the overlook or the outlook or the tower that's actually going to be built right above it so there's always that aspect as well so let's go ahead and um start building all this and i'm going to go ahead and i need to pick up uh, repair my pickaxe because that that's it's damaged quite a bit to be completely honest so so what we're going to do from here is if this is the center block which is this one right here and uh, we'll know that going forward here in just a little bit uh, but we have, this is going to be layer number one. So we go seven all from that. So you got one, then we go two, three, four, five, six, six, and seven. Um, and then what we're hoping for is that this will be enough for the mobs to actually all like fall through. If this clogs up with spiders, then what I'm, I'm going to ultimately do is I'll dig this one more out. But, we'll, but I won't know that for right off the bat. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to do two or one, two, three, four four and then i'm already out of uh out of uh the slabs so let's actually go ahead and craft up some there we go seven now what we need to do is just create a diagonal platform basically like this on going all the way around and then filling it up i want that one there we're gonna do the same thing on this side like that and then the same thing on this side and we're just going to kind of repeat that process on all of the sides making sure that we're not actually creating a full block and i'm struggling apparently putting the blocks down like that and then we're going to do the final side right here
and then we just need to fill that all in and it's going to take a lot of resources but from digging this out i should have plenty to make enough slabs for this entire project plus i had a lot of stone to begin with from all the mining that i had done earlier in some of my episodes so that actually worked out pretty good all right time to move this up and then what we're going to do is um i should have yeah let's actually just use the dirt and we'll just kind of pillar up for now and then what we're going to do in the middle here is we got to find the middle and somehow we messed up on this one i must have counted that one wrong there we go all right so now what we're going to do is the middle one is going to be we're going to put a dirt block here to kind of uh to recognize what that middle one is and what we need to do is we need to go up a little bit and then the problem that we're going to run into is we're going to do a dispenser facing downward like that and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and put a um and that's can't that can't work and we're gonna do this i'm used to building it like the other way so that it's actually going up the platform so ultimately what's happening is this will actually send an update downward which is absolutely fantastic and we're not going to fill in anything so what's going to happen is when we put a bucket of water here it's going to actually basically dispense right here and then it's going to go out so this would be one two three four five six seven and it's going to push everything off the edges right there which is exactly what we want to have happen and then i'm going to make this actually look a little bit nicer i'm going to clean it up and actually put in all the columns that we need so hopefully you guys can see that i'm going to be i'm going to build one more layer so you guys can actually see how this is actually going to be working and there doesn't need anything on the bottom because this layer here is actually the catching chamber that's why this bottom one is empty and then so this is level number one and we're going to go up 12 total levels um, I maybe don't even need to go up 12. I might only start with nine. We'll just see. But we got two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. And it should be right basically in line with this one. And then what we can do is we can do our diagonal pattern. And that should be basically right above it. And it is, which is fantastic. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. and that one should be right above this one and it is which is beautiful then another diagonal pattern and that one should be fine and there it is there's the pattern now we all ultimately just need to fill this in and then the other thing that we're actually gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put a couple torches down so that we can make sure that you no know, nothing spawns in this area while we're actually working on it because we're gonna have to come back and we're gonna have to put in our water buckets later so there is always that portion of this project that we're gonna have to work on and you can see that we're actually using quite a bit of slabs already just fine i got plenty of stone back at the base in the storage area that we have temporarily created so there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to put a couple torches down. Let's go ahead and grab our torches here. And we'll go put a couple down here. And we'll destroy these later. That should be perfectly fine for what we need. And then we can actually just kind of pillar back up again here. And then get on this one. And then what we're going to do here is the same thing. So we're going to have to go up a couple there. Delete that one. And then this is going to be a dispenser facing downward. And then this is going to be observer facing downward like that. And then we can actually get rid of that one. Perfect. Now, now we're going to start the same process right there. And you can kind of see that it's basically going to repeat it up. So this is going to send a signal down. You know, when this one is fired, this one will 
you know, trigger this dispenser, water will come out, it'll hit this observer, and it'll have a nice cascading ch and a chain reaction to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the next 10, and we're going to do a time lapse on that, so hopefully you guys do enjoy. We actually got that pretty good all right fantastic so now what we're actually working on is we're actually building our um actual cover to the actual building so we're going to be putting putting that right here now the other thing that we're actually going to have to do is that this one actually will need to be um with a dispenser right here as well because we need to flood this floor so we got to put our last observer and our last dispenser right there there, there we go, perfect. And then what we can do is we're gonna be covering this and this is actually gonna go all the way out to as far as we possibly can. So this is gonna cover up everything. Um, but typically what you would wanna do is go out 17 blocks. So you go out seven and then you do an additional 10 and then you're gonna be able to get that all um, nice and covered. So what I'm gonna do here is I wanna cover this all up and this is gonna be literally everything around here. We can actually get rid of these blocks here and then we're gonna have to build up around this a little bit um so i'm gonna have to grab a little bit more resources and then build this wall up um the best that i can and then the other thing that i'm actually gonna have to get rid of and i can't i think it's right here yeah i'm gonna have to fill this in completely as well so that nothing can spawn in here and that there's not light otherwise the other thing that i could do i guess would be just to fill this in diagonally and then keep this here so i could always i guess i could always do that as well so I got a lot of little, little like touch-ups to do with this. All right, so I did a little bit of touching up and you can see that we've got the entire roof uh, in order and I've actually done a little bit of terraforming. I got a little bit more filling to do just to make it look a little bit more natural. But like I said, there will be a tower going on the top of this location anyway. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be going ahead and building a hopper clock right here, which is gonna run right into this observer. And then it's gonna basically send a chain reaction all the way down to the very bottom. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of that right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do just a little bit different stuff. Oh, and I forgot some sticky pistons. All right, guys, I need that. I'm gonna grab my magma blocks at the exact same time. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to build this at all. And actually, it can just be regular pistons. It doesn't need to necessarily be sticky pistons. But let's actually, let's just grab... I guess I'll grab the slime balls as well. Um, I grabbed rails, and then we need the magma blocks. I don't know where those are at right now. There they are. Perfect. All right, we're, we're having a complete infestation of iron golems. Look at this, you guys. This is crazy. This has got to be fixed. We're definitely going to have to work on that a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get back up here. And then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to grab my hoppers out. 
and we're gonna put one into that like that and we're gonna go back like this so that they're facing each other with the tails in there and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna read a comparator output on both of these they have two comparators left so i guess that actually worked out pretty good and then this is going to go into uh, a full block here and there and then this is actually going to have a redstone dust on the top of it actually let's do that like this right there and i need more slabs so let's grab six more and let's do that then this is going to be a dust here, dust here, and let's grab our pistons. And then we're going to do a piston there. And actually, I'm just going to make it sticky. Go. And then we're going to do a sticky piston right on that one, right there, and then right there. I got to shift click on these now too, because otherwise you can do that. All right. So ultimately this is just going to go back and forth. Uh, so when we throw in our items here, um, we'll, I'll probably set it at the roughly 32. Then when this drains out, this will actually be pushed over here. And then this should actually basically depower off. So let's make sure that that actually works. And it's not... Probably because it's not a redstone. There we go. All right, so that's all we have to actually do for that. So that system is actually all set up. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and take out all these objects here. Perfect. And now the system is off. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to throw in all of our buckets. We need 12 buckets of water. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And then we need to fill in each of the dispensers that we place down below. All right. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to be placing just a water uh, bucket of water in each of these. I actually dug all the way back down to the bottom here. And then we're just going to basically go up one at a time. Then I just basically dug straight down into this. And then if my calculations are right, correct, I should only have four water buckets when I am all done. If I have more than that, then we probably have some problems. So I got all of the water in place, and a couple of them have made a little bit of some mistakes, but that's perfectly fine. We'll figure that out here in just a little bit. Uh, now, the, the other thing that I'm actually going to have to do here is this, this area right here is going to have to be... I'm going to put a couple torches probably right here to signify that's where I need to actually uh, build up because that's what I'm going to need. But if we place down a water bucket there, this should actually go all the way. Uh, I was hoping that it would actually go a little bit further. And then I did put a water source down here so we can do this. And then we're going to put a water bucket here. And we're also going to put a water bucket here. And that should push it all the way to this one. And it's not going to want to do that. So we're guess we're going to raise that one up. Y1, perfect, because these three in the middle here actually need to be what we, uh, we're, we're going to be building here next. All right, so this is going to be perfect. What we're going to do here is um, we're going to be building um, a collection chamber for our, uh, for our uh, mobs. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it at this level right here. And you're going to see why we're doing this. And actually what we need to do here is we actually need to go down one and we need to figure out where we're going to basically put our, um, our hoppers. We're going to need, we're going to be using um, a total of nine of them. So I'm going to actually going to have, well, I'll probably just do one line. So I'm going to have that one facing in that one, that one facing into that one. And then I think what we're going to do is we'll run it that way actually i'm gonna run it this way so if we kind of take the hopper line like say from and go that way with it all right we got a little bit of a water problem down here and actually i need to grab my go beautiful and we're gonna put there Let's go ahead and grab all of our blocks here just real quick. Then this is where we're going to be able to um, have some of our 
our chamber. So I just want to make this nice and bright down here so that nothing does... Nothing should be spawning up there. It does sound like there is. I was wondering if I had missed an area. I just don't, I, I just don't want any um, creepers to fall on me because that would be that would be really bad. I just don't really want to deal with that right now. All right, so we're gonna go this one into that there and there, and then we're gonna do this one into that and there. Perfect. And then that gives us a little space to go ahead and work around right here. Perfect. Oh, you're going to give me a potato? All right, so what we're going to do in order to complete this is not do that. That would That's a bad idea. Don't, don't ever do that. Not a good idea. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting down our rails. And we're going to be doing this like one at a time. I'm going to start over in the corner there. And we're going to go ahead and place one of our, our minecart hoppers. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and destroy that underneath. And that's actually going to end up all over there. And then we're just going to keep placing more as we go. I usually like to start in the corners. That makes it actually a little bit easier. Then we're going to put another one there. And let's grab a couple more hopper minecarts. And then let's go put one there. And then what we're going to want to do is we're actually going to want to put one in the center. And then we're going to want to put one here. That actually looks like it's okay. I can't quite get that one right now. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to put another one there. Put another one there. And we're just going to fill up all the spots that we possibly can. Actually, I might as well just throw another one in there right there. And I kind of want to make sure that this one goes over a little bit. That's going to be really hard to get that one from the center. Perfect. It actually will work for me. And then what we can do is we can actually put the next one down and we're going to do that right there. And that should force that one to the middle. And that actually looks really good. Now what we can do is we can actually dig down below here. And then what we want to do is we want to destroy all of our rails so that they're not moving around or being as basically minimal as possible here. And we got that one. Looks like that one's fine. Didn't look like it, but the ones we're missing looks like that one. I think that looks like it might be it. All right, so it looked like I got all of them. So after I get all of them, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna put down our magma blocks, and we're just gonna start like right there, and we're gonna put them above them, and we need a total of the nine like that and now what we need to do is we actually need to push these down so what we're going to be doing is i'm actually going to go ahead and delete uh this one real quick and that's going to get sucked up by that hopper pretty much instantly but what we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to be grabbing our pistons which i don't have all of them so that's that was always a very smart thing so let me go grab those real quick all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put just a couple of these down for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our redstone and we're going to want to fire those. Then we can actually go ahead and delete these, these pistons. So let's go ahead and do that one there. We can actually get rid of this redstone and this redstone. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do that kind of all the way around. And then we need to make sure we're putting our magma block there. So we're going to go like there. And we'll do there and there. And then we're just going to do redstone everywhere. And 
all right. Now we can actually destroy the pistons. And all of those are going to end up in the hopper down below. So basically when we throw something like in this water, it's going to get pushed. Uh, hopefully it's going to go straight that way. Um, okay. It's not going to want to cooperate with me right now, but that's fine. And as soon as we get the more, more water in here, it'll actually work pretty good. Well, fantastic. We got everything in place. So when the mobs fall down here, the land in this water, it'll get pushed to the center. And what's going to happen is it was basically going to go right in there and it's going to get sucked up by the hopper mine carts that are down below being pushed and then the magma blocks are actually together so that actually looks really good so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna get rid of these uh torches that we put in here just to light it up a little bit so you guys can kind of see what's going on and then i'm gonna basically tower back up and then i'm gonna turn on the spectator account and see what happens all right so you guys can actually go ahead and see that we're actually getting quite a few mobs already from this which is absolutely fantastic so you can clearly see this on the spectator account. It is actually working really good. We're actually even getting a couple spiders. I have noticed that a few spiders are actually climbing up the wall and uh, causing a little bit of problems. So I think I might actually make this just a little bit bigger and kind of go from there. But as far as like down here, I mean, I guess spiders I'm okay with. I mean, zombies, I'm not, I really don't want the zombies. I would prefer to have as many... Um, creepers as possible and skeletons and to get that way i can get the bones and i can get uh the gunpowder are the primary items that i would really really like and then once the spiders actually get all the way down here it seems to be just fine and as you guys could actually see in the previous clip we actually are getting a lot of drops and i'm still watching it on the spectator account and it is absolutely fantastic but i'll be building a collection chamber probably off camera and then i'll show you guys and they give a little bit of a showcase for it so you guys can actually see it uh when we get back into the next episode but if you guys did enjoy this episode of the minecraft guide then don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated and honestly guys it tells me that you want me to continue making more of these videos for you guys so that you guys can see exactly how i play minecraft and again if you guys want to have a specific tutorial made or a farm made by all means leave a comment down below so that i can do my best to make that for you guys in a future episode but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming